Hello, my name is Luke Pearson. Welcome to Create and Play, Hall Truck Theatre's homeschooling drama lessons for children aged 7 to 11. Over the course of the next four weeks, I'm going to bring you all sorts of exercises and activities to get your creative juices flowing. Each week, we're going to be joined by a guest, some of whom you might just recognise. For today's session, we're going to need some song lyrics. So if you are accessing a device online, please check with a homeschooler first. Before that, though, we need to get warmed up. In a moment, I'm going to play 30 seconds of music. I'd like you to find a space in your room and do some freestyle dancing. However you want to do this, it's totally up to you. OK, are you ready? Here we go. Now we are going to continue our physical warm-up. Still in the space in your room, firstly I'd like you to imagine that you are walking around a busy city centre. Perhaps you're in a rush, so you might keep checking your watch. You might also be carrying a briefcase for, imp for your important meeting and keep walking around this busy city centre. As you do so, you might also have to dodge and weave around the other people that are also in a rush. Keep walking around this city centre and relax. Now we are going to imagine that we're walking up a steep mountain, which may mean you have to look right up at the top of the mountain. And as you walk, you've got a really heavy backpack on and the work is getting harder and harder and harder. So you might have to pause and lean on a walking stick and gather your breath and relax. Finally, we are going to imagine that we're in an exotic jungle. So as you walk around your room, you might be clearing plants ahead of you. Every now and then you pause and look to the left and look to the right as you hear strange noises coming. You wipe the sweat off your brow. This is really hard work. And relax. Now we're going to do our vocal warm up. First of all, I'd like you to take an imaginary toffee and put it in your mouth and start chewing that imaginary toffee. As you chew, you are awakening all the muscles in your face and mouth that we use to talk. So have a go at that now. Hmm. Hmm. And after a short while, you can spit out that imaginary toffee. We're going to finish our warm up with a tongue twister. And today's tongue twister is a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot. You'll notice in this tongue twister, there's lots of C's and P's and F's. So as you say it, really try and focus and enunciate those as clearly as possible. Imagine you're talking to the Queen. Here it is one more time. A proper cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot. Pause the video now and have a go at saying that tongue twister. Fantastic! That concludes today's warm-up. Today's session is about monologues. A monologue is a body of text delivered by one character that shares thoughts, ideas and feelings. It is often delivered as a character's inner thoughts or as a speech to another character. For today's session, I am super excited to be joined by actor and theatre maker Ben Wilson. Here's what happened when I caught up with Ben earlier in the week. Hello, Ben. Welcome to Create and Play. Hello. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for coming on. How are you, Ben? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm doing good. Obviously, it's very strange times for everyone at the moment. But yeah, no, I feel like I'm, do I'm doing well. I'm happy. I'm perfectly happy. Good. And you're going to be all the more better for doing some drama, exercises and activities. Absolutely. With one of the young people. 
Absolutely. It's one of my favourite things to do in the world and it's been far too long. So, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in. Good. Brilliant stuff. Um, so, Ben, can you tell, tell our audience a little bit about what you do? Yeah, of course. So I, I, I do lots of different things. Sometimes it's hard to properly define exactly what I do, but I do lots of different things within the, within the theatre world. I, I'm an actor, probably first and foremost. I'm also a, a theatre maker and director. And uh, I do something called creative access, particularly uh, creative audio description. Uh, so I am disabled. I'm, I'm blind. Uh, and when I say I'm blind, sometimes people get a little bit confused. That doesn't mean that I can't see anything at all. I, I, I can see a, a little bit and I have a little bit of vision. It's just not very good. And uh, so I have a real passion for making sure that theatre is as open and exciting and enjoyable uh, as possible to disabled audiences, to blind audiences and to, to deaf audiences and to disabled audiences more, more, more generally. And uh, particularly, I specialise in a thing called creative audio description. So audio description is when, when a blind person like me goes to the theatre, we'll, uh, we'll listen to some headphones and there'll be someone describing uh, the visual elements of the show to us in those headphones. Uh, so they might tell us what the set looks like, what the costumes look like, what the actors look like. And then they'll also describe the, the visual elements of the show. So there might be, say, there's two people having a fight. You know, I won't be able to see what's going on. So I'll, I'll, need, I'll need someone to explain to me what's happening and who's winning and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, and so what I specialise in is, is trying to do that, trying to do audio description more creatively and more excitingly and more more enjoyably. Because sometimes I think it could do with being a little bit more exciting and creative and, and have a bit more fun and joy and yeah, and be be a little bit more more yeah, be a little bit more joyous. Uh, so yeah, so that's one one of the many things that I do is, and one of my biggest passions is uh, is trying to make the access side of theatre. Uh, more exciting and more fun and more yeah more enjoyable for the audiences nice and and, and i know as well as that that you're a, a fantastic talented actor um and that's what you're here for today to do some to do some acting uh, can you tell us about the last show that you were in yeah of course so uh, obviously during lockdown it's been very hard to uh, to do any acting so that's why i'm very excited to be here today uh, so just before lockdown just before the first lockdown when coronavirus first struck I was in a production of Oliver Twist, which was really, really fun, which started at Leeds Playhouse. And then we were, we were due to go on tour to lots of different theatres. But unfortunately, just as we were about to go on tour, the government said that theatre had to stop and we all had to go, in, go indoors and stay inside, which was very upsetting at first because we were having so much fun on that show. I was playing Mr Bumble, who uh, if any of you have seen the musical Oliver, he's the guy who sings, boy, boy for sale. You know, he's, uh, he's one of the villains of the show, which is it was so much fun to play. Uh, we all know, all those actors know that villains are the most fun parts to play. Yeah, for sure. And um, I managed to catch it just before it was postponed and it was a great show. Um, and uh, you were very villainous. Uh, I'm sure that comes naturally. Uh, fantastic, Ben. Well, it's great to have you here. Uh, so without further ado, let's get stuck in some drama exercises. Yeah, can't wait. Let's go. Ben's going to be staying with us and demonstrating some of the exercises and activities in today's session. Today's session I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for acting. The first one being emphasis. Every day when we speak we emphasise different words in our sentences. This means that we make some words louder or longer or we change the tone of the words when we say them. For this next exercise, I'm going to give you a sentence and we're going to have a go at emphasising different words within the sentence. The sentence is, I never said she stole your money. Here's what happened when Ben had a go at this. I never said she stole your money. 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 Did you notice that by emphasising different words in that sentence, we actually change the meaning of the sentence itself? That's why it's really important to know what your character is trying to say with their words. Pause the video now and have a go at saying that sentence. Each time, emphasise a different word within that sentence. Pause the video and have a go at that now. Off you go.
Now we're going to try and play with tone. Tone is important for showing the true intentions of our character. Ben is going to say a sentence for us. He's going to say that sentence twice. Both times the words are exactly the same. But watch what happens when he changes the tone of his voice. Oh, that cake looks nice. What flavour is it? Oh, that cake looks nice. W what flavour is it? Did you notice that the first time it sounded like Ben was paying me a compliment? The second time, though, it sounded like he was trying to insult me. This is because his tone was different for both sentences, even though the words were the same. Pause the video now and have a go at saying that sentence multiple times. Can you say that sentence so it sounds like a compliment? Can you say that sentence so it sounds like an insult? How else can you say that sentence? Pause the video now and have a go at that. Off you go. Whilst a playwright chooses the words, it's up to the actor to choose how to say them. For our final exercise, I'd like you to find some song lyrics. If you are using a device online, please check with a homeschooler that it's OK to do so. Once you've found your song lyrics, have a go at performing these as a monologue, thinking about all the lessons we've learnt today, including which words do you emphasise and what's your tone like? What are you really trying to say with the words that you've got in front of you? Here's Ben's example of his monologue. If you don't want to see me, did a full 180, crazy, thinking about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe. But, but look at where I ended up. I'm all good already. So moved on, it's scary. I'm not where you left me at all. So, if you don't want to see me dancing with somebody, if you want to believe that anything could stop me, then don't show up. Don't come out. Don't start caring about me now. You know, walk away. You know how. Don't start caring about me now. Aren't you the guy who tried to hurt me with the word goodbye? Though it took some time to survive you, I'm better on the other side. Yeah, I'm all good already. I'm so moved on, it's scary. I'm not where you left me at all. So if you don't want to see me dancing with somebody, if you want to believe that anything could stop me, then don't show up. Don't come out. Don't, don't stop caring about me now. Walk away. You know how. Just don't stop caring about me now. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, Ben. Now it's your turn. So find your song lyrics and have a go at performing them as a monologue. Thank you so much for watching episode one of Create and Play and I will see you next time.